You pathetic excuse for a human being. I've been generous enough to invite every single person in this godforsaken office to witness the happiest day of my life. But I want you to listen carefully and understand this. You are not, under any circumstances, allowed to even come near the place where I'm getting married. If I see you anywhere near the venue on my wedding day, I swear to God, I will make you regret it. Do you understand me? Hey, Christopher, I'm really happy for you and your fiancé. I got the news about the invitation, but I'm a little confused. Are you saying that I'm not invited to your wedding? I thought that you were inviting everyone who works here. Yeah, I am inviting everyone who works here except for you. You are a worthless piece of garbage, and I don't want you anywhere near me or my bride. You're just going to be a nuisance and a burden on my budget. So this is how you're going to treat me? You're going to try to isolate me and make me feel like an outsider? You think that's funny, don't you? Well, let me tell you something. It's not funny at all. It's actually very hurtful. So why don't you stop being a jerk and grow up already? Besides, you're the only one who thinks that I'm worthless. Everyone else here appreciates me and my work. I have a good rapport with everyone here, except for you. That's because everyone else here is too soft on you. They're all just minding their own business and doing their own thing. But as section chief, it's my responsibility to make sure that everyone here is performing up to the standards. And I'm not going to let you slide by just because you're new here. Don't expect me to be your friend or your mentor. I'm your boss, and I'm going to be tough on you. Then why don't you give me some constructive feedback instead of insulting me and ignoring me? I think that would be more helpful than just being rude and hostile. I've been working here for a year now, and I've been doing as much as anyone else here, if not more. I've been learning fast and improving every day. Why do you hate me so much? What did I ever do to you? It's clear that you have some personal vendetta against me. So what is it? Well, for starters, you're 35 years old, right? Yeah, I am. So what? So what? There's only a year's difference between us. But you just joined this company a year ago. I have no idea what you were doing with your life before that. And frankly, I don't care. But it's obvious that you're a late starter. Look at me. I'm already a section chief. I've been working hard and climbing the ladder. I think it speaks volumes about how useless you are. Christopher, you need to understand that people are different. We make different choices and we follow different paths. That doesn't make you superior to me. I have my own reasons for joining this company. I have my own goals and aspirations. Don't you think that it's a bit unfair to judge me based on that? Oh, please, spare me the sob story. Let me give you another reason why I'm better than you. After getting married, I'm going to quit this job and go work for a different company. Oh, really? And what company is that? My fiancé's family owns a huge corporation. I think that if I join them after we tie the knot, I'll have a shot at taking over the company someday. When her old man kicks the bucket, I'm going to be CEO of a massive company. What are you going to be doing when I'm sitting in the big chair? Fetching coffee for the new section chief? Ha! I'm just on a whole different level than you. But that's only going to happen if your bride and her family actually want you to be their next CEO, right? What are you implying? That I'm not good enough for them? I wasn't trying to insult your skills or abilities. I just had a hunch that you've been living in a fantasy world where everything works out in your favor without considering the other scenarios or the emotions of the other people involved. I was curious if your fiancé was on the same page as you. That's all I wanted to know. What do you know about anything? You have no clue how rich people think. You're already 35 years old and you've barely managed to land a full-time job. You have no idea about the world I'm going to marry into. Of course, I don't know how your fiancé feels. I didn't mean to presume that I did. I apologize for that. I hope you'll be very happy together. Yeah, well, to be honest, the woman I'm marrying isn't that great. It's a pity she's not that smart and she's not that attractive. If she was, everything would have been perfect. Huh? What are you saying? What? Did you think I was marrying for love or something? Don't make me laugh. I was dating her because I was bored, and I was going to dump her if I found a better girl. But thanks to my research skills, I discovered that her family was loaded. That's why I'm marrying her. I just want her money. Really? That's your reason? Don't you think you'll regret spending the rest of your life with someone you don't love? What? Why would I regret it? I just thought that it sounded kind of sad to marry someone for their money instead of wanting to be with them. I guess everyone really is different. I'm sorry I said anything. But what about your fiancé? She doesn't know that you don't love her? Isn't that kind of cruel to her? That's what I hate about you. 
I'm sorry, what? The way you act like such a hypocrite. It annoys me so much. Do you think that you're better than me or something? Just because you want to marry for love? The world revolves around money. Even you should know that. No, you especially should know that since you're poor. I'm going to marry that woman. And I'm going to become rich and famous. How can I hate her? She's the reason I'm going to become a CEO. That's not a bad reason to like her. Uh, yeah, sure, if that's what you believe. Everyone has their own way of thinking. So, I don't have any authority to interfere and tell you you're wrong. It's the bride herself. Anyway, I didn't get an invitation to the wedding, so of course, I won't bother you on your big day. Don't worry, you can enjoy it without me harassing you. Yeah, good. That's what I wanted to hear. I wouldn't have tolerated someone as useless as you coming to my wedding. You're just a loser. Don't forget that. It would have been a nightmare if you had come and caused trouble. I would have crashed your wedding just to annoy you. If that's what you think of me, then go ahead and keep on thinking that. It doesn't make any difference to me what you think. I'll see you at work, Christopher. Destiny, what is this abomination? What's what? I received an invitation to your wedding, but... Huh? Of course you did. You're coming, right? There's no way that you're skipping out on my special day. What's the matter? Can't you make it? I'm talking about the guy you're going to marry. I wasn't there when your fiancé came to introduce himself to mom and dad, but I have a strong suspicion that this guy is my manager at work. Seriously? You know him? That's awesome. That way you don't have to worry about what kind of guy he is. Oh, or maybe he just has the same name. No, I don't think so. He's scheduled to get married on the same day. That's written on your invitation. I think that's too much to be called a coincidence. Ah, so you do know Christopher. Wow, it really is a small world. That must mean you've gotten invitations from both of us without realizing. That's weird. No, I just have the invitation from you. But I'm pretty certain that the guy you're going to marry is the section chief at my company. He's your section chief. That's kind of hilarious. If you didn't go to work at that tiny company, you wouldn't even have a boss to think that my fiancé is your manager. Your modesty is your strength, Albert. I appreciate that you're trying to compliment me. But don't say it like that. Even if it's a small company, there's still a lot for me to learn before I come back. I'm doing my best to absorb as much knowledge as I can. Besides, it'll be over soon, so he won't be my manager for long. Yeah, I know. All right then. Looking forward to the wedding. I'll keep quiet that you're coming, because I want to surprise him on the day. So don't say anything to him either. It's our secret, okay? The more surprises, the more fun. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, hey, Destiny, I've got a favor to ask. What the hell were you thinking? I warned you, didn't I? Are you a moron? Did you not understand when I told you not to come? You don't even know why I was there. It would have been wiser for you to check first, but you didn't even give me the opportunity to explain or introduce myself before you punched me and chased me out of the venue. You are even worse than I initially thought you were. It's your own fault. I warned you and you defied me. I just disciplined you for not listening to me, that's all. This is my wedding day. Don't ruin it by showing up, you loser. Get out of here. Are you really sure you want me to leave? That's what I've been saying. Are you so dumb that you can't even understand English? Is that what's wrong with you? You don't speak no English? Get out and go practice your speaking before you show your face to me. Leave right now, loser. You're the idiot, Christopher. Huh? What did you say to me? You've got it in your head that you have the right to be angry with me. But you're mistaken about one big thing. If I leave, you're going to regret having spoken to me like this. You're going to be pleading for me to come back. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nobody cares if you leave, loser. Least of all me. You can't do anything to me. You're just a worthless piece of garbage that can't do anything. Nobody wants someone like you at such an important event. This is my big day. The day I get everything. Nobody can stop me from telling you to leave. Sure, if that's what you want to believe. It's too late to turn things around, Christopher. I'm leaving. Leave? God damn it! Why did you even come in the first place? You knew that you didn't belong here and that I was going to tell you to leave. Why waste your time? You really wanted to crash my wedding and ruin my big day, huh? After I warned you so much that you weren't welcome, that's the only reason I can think of you turning up today. You're not welcome here, loser. 
Don't come here without my permission ever again. I hope my punch helped you regain some common sense. Now you know that you're not worthy of being here. Don't ever come back. Then give my regards to the bride. Tell her that her brother is leaving. What? What are you talking about? Her brother's leaving? Who's her brother? You? It's up to you whether you believe me or not. I don't care anymore. So, I'm leaving. I'm not interested in wishing you the best with my sister. You got what you wanted. I just hope that your wedding goes on without any problems or any other interruptions. Goodbye, Christopher. Albert, where the hell are you? How can you just disappear like that? Don't you have any sense of decency? You need to come back to the wedding venue right now. What? Are you out of your mind? You want me to come back after you assaulted me and threw me out like a piece of trash? What on earth made you change your mind so suddenly? No, you got it all wrong. That was just a minor misunderstanding. I didn't really mean to hurt you. I'm begging you, please come back as soon as possible. I admit that I was wrong to act so violently. I just lost my temper for a moment, that's all. We can sort everything out when you get back. Did you talk with my little sister? Is that why you're asking me to come back? Did she tell you something that made you realize what a huge blunder you made? Destiny told me that she wanted it to be a surprise. That she wanted to introduce me to you before the ceremony started. I had no idea that she was planning something like that. It was a terrible mistake of me to chase you away. She was devastated when she found out that you were gone. Look, you're family, so I hope you'll come back to the wedding venue so that we can continue the ceremony. Everyone's waiting for you, so can you please come back as soon as possible? It's too late for that. I asked you if you were sure that you wanted me to leave, and you shouted at me to get out. I don't know what my sister told you, but I have a feeling that she said something that made you realize what a colossal error you made. I warned you, didn't I, that you would regret it, and now you're freaking out. What do you mean it's too late? I'm asking you nicely here. Don't you think it's courteous to respond to that request? It's my wedding day. Don't humiliate me. Will you come back to the wedding venue? It doesn't matter how nicely you ask me. I told you that I was the bride's brother. You chose not to believe me and still told me to leave despite my warning you not to. I told you the truth and I explained what I was doing there, but you didn't care. I left because you told me I wasn't welcome and I'm not coming back. I don't even want to see your face. Seriously? You don't have to say that. Then what about your sister? Destiny's been running around looking for you. Can't you come back for her sake? She's heartbroken that her big brother isn't here for her on her special day. It's her wedding day as well as mine. Can't you just forget about the stuff between us and come back? No, I can't. Why are you being so stubborn? Are you seriously going to be that selfish on your little sister's wedding day? Come on! You're going to ruin everything for her. Especially if you tell her that I punched you and that I told you to leave. Please, can we keep that between us? What do you mean, keep it between us? I mean, let's not tell her what happened, you understand? Let's pretend it never happened for Destiny's sake. And we work together. Let's not make things awkward. Come on, man. I'm asking nicely. We want to get the ceremony started. So, will you come back? You don't want to make a scene, do you? So, for your sister's sake, don't say anything about what happened. You've got to be kidding me. Are you being serious? What? You punched me for no good reason. And you want me to keep quiet? Are you trying to use my sister as an excuse to keep me from saying anything? But you just don't want me to tell her so that she won't dump you. You're only thinking about yourself. What's the point? No matter how much you lie, you can't hide the truth that you punched me from her. She won't know anything if you don't tell her. Come on, I'm asking you not to ruin our wedding day. You can't seriously think that you can keep this a secret from her forever. There must have been dozens of witnesses. How many people do you think are roaming around this place? You're the host. You should have had a clue. Someone's bound to have seen what you did, and she'll find out sooner or later. You punched me in the face, Christopher. She's going to be disgusted that you could do something so cruel, and everyone's going to be appalled that you did something that outrageous. 
Why do you think I'm apologizing to you so profusely? I'm desperate here. Can't you just forgive me already? I've learned my lesson and I'm not going to do it again. Apologizing? Christopher, I haven't heard a single word of apology from you ever. All you've been saying to me is to not tell Destiny what you did and to not make a scene. You've been making me out as the villain that's trying to ruin your wedding day. You're just terrified that everything you've said and done to me will ruin your chances of marrying my sister and getting your hands on my family's fortune. That's why you want me to keep quiet about what you've done, right? Albert, we're going to be brothers. So what if we have a few arguments like that? Let's just forget about everything that's happened until now and enjoy our new relationship. I want us to get along from now on as family. We're going to see each other more often too. So it's best if we start off on the right foot, don't you think? We're going to be working together too, right? I think I'll get along fine without a brother like you. What? What do you mean? I mean that your motive for marrying my sister, for marrying into this family was because you're after my parents' money. And you think that you'll gain the right to take over the company? That's what you told me just the other week without realizing that you were marrying my sister. To be honest, I didn't know that Destiny was marrying you either, so I didn't realize that you were talking about our company. But at least now I know why you're so desperate to stay on my good side and want to keep Destiny from getting upset. Unfortunately for you, it's too late. I already went to the police after you punched me. What? You went to the police? Yeah, and I'm about to file the police report against you for punching me once my sister finds out what happened. I'm pretty sure that the wedding will be cancelled or at least put on hold. Either way, it's not happening today. You're not going to get to marry my little sister. No way. But we've already gotten married legally. Today is just for the ceremony. There's no point in cancelling the wedding. And you can't stop it that easily. How much time, money, and effort do you think we put into preparing everything today? You think that you're already legally married? But my sister hasn't been to the registrar's office yet. I asked her not to send in the documents until the wedding was over. You're delusional. We're not married yet? You thought she had already signed the contract and stuff. I told her not to send them yet. When I found out that she was marrying you, she was puzzled about why I asked her to do that. But she agreed with me when I told her that it would be the best to wait until the ceremony was completely over and done with before filing them. I knew that you would screw up and show your true colors if I showed up at the wedding uninvited, but I didn't think that you'd go as far as to punch me. Wait a minute. So I'm not married yet? Yeah, you're not going to get married. Not to this jerk. I think you should be more worried about the fact that he's going to go to jail for battery. For battery? What the hell are you talking about? I haven't committed a crime. You punched me in the face. How can you do something so barbaric? You deserve to be punished for it. I think it's only natural that you get arrested. And in that case, you're going to get fired. I hope you finally realize the gravity of what you've done and how serious the situation is. You've got to be kidding me. Are you trying to destroy my life? What's your problem? My plan is completely shattered. I thought I was going to be living like a star after I got married to Destiny. I thought I was going to be filthy rich. What have you done to me? What have I done to you? You're still going to blame me for your own actions? I think that's outrageous. But let me give you a reality check. Even if you marry my sister, you're not going to become CEO of our company. You're not going to gain the life you think you're going to get. I mean, you won't be broke, but you're not going to get the career you're fantasizing about. What? Why not? My sister doesn't have any ambition of taking over the company. She's already got her own career that she's passionate about. I'm the one that's in line to take over the family business. I'm only working in another company right now because I'm trying to gain as much experience before I become CEO. What? That's why I started working in the same company as you at this age. I told you, remember? That everyone has their own reasons and their own circumstances, but you still treated me like I was worthless. For what? Is it so bad that someone starts working full time when they turn 35? Isn't it worse to punch someone for no reason at all? I plan on telling the HR department all about the insults and the harassment, so it's certain that you're not going to have a job to go back to once you've got out of jail. Maybe you should have worked more on improving your personality rather than working so hard on finding a spouse to mooch off of. You were spending a lot of time calling me an idiot, a failure, and a loser. But I wonder who the real loser is. You're going to be suffering hell after this. 
So do your best. You're gonna need it, loser. When Destiny learned the truth about the violent clash between her brother Michael and her fiancé Christopher at the wedding venue, she was stunned beyond words. She couldn't believe that Christopher had such a dark side and called off the wedding on the spot. Michael reported the incident to the police, and soon enough, Christopher was handcuffed and dragged to the local station for interrogation. To make matters worse, he also got a message from his boss that he was fired. As he was found guilty, Destiny felt a wave of relief that she had dodged a bullet and escaped from a man who neither loved nor respected her. She owed it all to Michael, who had foiled Christopher's plans. Christopher had been counting on the job and the money he would get from marrying Destiny, but now he was in a living hell. He was out of jail now, but he had to start from scratch to find another job and rebuild his reputation. Maybe if he had shown more compassion for people from different backgrounds, he would have had more support when he needed it most. But he had no one to blame but himself for his downfall. We can only hope that he will learn from his mistakes and try to change for the better. The only problem is that it might be hard for him to change if he doesn't want to improve himself.